r slash ask reddit, what's something that was supposed to be the next big thing but absolutely flopped? The Segway. Too fast for the sidewalk, too slow for streets. It's about as fast as a bike I guess, but the thing is, something else that is as fast as a bike is a bike, I don't really see what new benefits Segways brought that motivated the hype. Google Plus, everyone thought it's gonna be the Facebook color, now it's just a history. I really, really like the circles feature of Google Plus, you could have a friend circle, a family circle, a work circle, whatever you wanted, and then when you posted you chose which circle, s, saw the post, seemed like a really smart way to do a social media platform. I'm surprised no one else has done something similar. I thought that G Plus was superior in every way to Facebook, like, I really and truly liked it, it's such a bummer that it just didn't go well. 3D TVs. 3D movies in general, when the new 3D started becoming a thing like 10 years ago Popular Mechanics released an article talking about how 3D technology was going to reinvent how we watch TV and movies. At the end of the article there was a notation that said the article was originally printed in an issue of Popular Mechanics around 1983. It was just showing that while technology has become better, it was still too early to suggest it was going to reinvent anything. Someday true 3D will be invented with true eye focus, allowing us to focus on things we want to on the screen like we do actual 3 dimensional objects. Until then I don't see 3D becoming the way we consume movies and TV. Even then I think AR VR is more likely to change how we watch things. 3D movies in general. I love how you can watch any movie from that era and you can tell a scene was shoehorned in to be the big draw 3D scene. Usually a character launched up towards the screen where things go slow motion while they hit the peak of their launch before falling back to the ground, probably getting launched with several objects characters to really show the depth. There was this lady who said laboratories testing could be reduced to a machine the size of a microwave. Turns out it was all a scam. Scary how many high powered and big name people fully supported her without ever seeing a working product. They were convinced that the female version of Steve Jobs was going to be successful as a brand. Regardless of the quality of her product services, that's why she was the face of the company. Any technical questions were answered with some vague futuristic utopic story, purely made to let on the investors and clients. Quibi, the streaming service with 5-10 minute long TV shows meant to be watched on mobile. They spent nearly 2 billion dollars, recruited A-list celebrities, were run by a former Disney executive co-founder of DreamWorks, and completely tanked within 6 months. I believe they try to blame their failure on the pandemic, but realistically, this is what happens when a bunch of out of touch media executives get too into being data driven and think they can synergize and scale their way into being cool. I have worked with this particular kind of star ducker executive and it was so satisfying and validating to see the stuff fail. Isn't that basically YouTube except all the content would be created by Hollywood executives I guess? Yes and you had to pay monthly for it. Google Glass. I think glass will have a resurrection as an industrial tool rather than a everyday accessory. The 2.0 version is heavily marketed towards business and having AR overlay would be incredibly helpful in fabrication and QC. Think glass will have a resurrection as an industrial tool rather than a everyday accessory. The 2.0 version is heavily marketed towards business and having AR overlay would be incredibly helpful in fabrication and QC. This is what happened to the Kinect. It oddly enough found interesting uses in the medical commercial world. Gidge, a phone and and a video game system. Too bad you had to remove the battery whenever you wanted to change games. The N-Gage could have been revolutionary TBH, it's basically the early prototype for the PSP and Switch. What really killed it, was that it was a bulky Game Boy Advance pretending to be a phone. Hell, even the N95 was a great phone for its time. Edit, Game Boy and Game Gear walked so N-Gage could run. I only brought up GBA because it was a handheld being sold at the same time as the N-Gage. Not to discount the previous console history. Imo the main issue was the phone and gaming parts were essentially separate. There was no real flow between these two functions so made it a very janky experience. That and holding a taco to your ear to talk looked pretty damn weird. It was certainly a cool idea. But in the end a GBA had better gaming experience. 
and pretty much any phone kicked its ass for the phone experience. Amazon's Fire Phone Amazon Fire Phone sucked. I just bought an Amazon Fire TV and I like it so far. I'm just waiting for the ads to start rolling in on the home screen. Though, it was cheap. 4K, and as the job I wanted to do. Time will tell. LOL. I bought a Fire TV about 4 years ago and I hate it. Banner ads at the top when I turn it on. The UI is really buggy. There's not a source button on the remote to just quickly change between HDMI's or other inputs. Crashes constantly. Just not a good experience emo. Blackberry without the keyboard. Fell flat on its face. Too bad was a great Canadian company and a world leader in mobile devices until they got so arrogant they thought they knew what the consumer wanted but didn't. Bye bye BB. I miss the Blackberry era. The way they turned from business professional phones to the hot new thing at my school BC of BBM. Everyone had one and it was all what's your pin? I would genuinely buy one now for the nostalgia and BC I'm over having everything available at my fingertips. Severely impacts my productivity Lmao eater. Lana Del Rey has a super old and released song called BBM Baby which always takes me back whenever I hear it. It's super upbeat and fun HTTPS. M. YouTube. Com watch. V equals 1 BTPV 0 tooth cam. They were without question the highest quality smartphone before iPhone and Android completely took over. Even the feature phone Blackberries had a brick breaker game that can't be replicated the same without that touchpad. Metaverse. Metaverse is the new future that nobody has thought of before. Vrakat is basically the same but better graphics. VR chat 1 because it came first by several years supports basically any headset or no headset has legs by default and supports full body tracking has basically infinite user created worlds and avatars has tremendously better graphics absolutely packed. Full of femboy furries. Modular phones. I can remember reading about how being able to choose and change the different modules based on your phone needs. Better camera. Better speakers act. Was gonna kill the iPhone. Kind of a shame really. They sounded pretty cool. The Fairphone 4 is modular but for repair rather than upgrade. The LG G5 phone was an attempt at this. They had an improved camera mod. And I believe speakers too. Honestly the reason I got one was because you could take the battery out and put a freshly charged one in. They even sold battery docking ports so you could charge multiple batteries at once. I really miss being able to easily exchange my phone battery. New Coke. The company changed the recipe, and people were so mad that within 3 months they brought back the old one. Which is why today it's called Coke Classic. Well call it New Slurm and when everyone hates it well bring back Slurm Classic and make billions. R.I.P. Slurms Mackenzie. Liffy. Wi-Fi that works with light reflections. All reflective surfaces in the house must be eliminated. So safe to assume it wasn't very successful amongst people who use their phone in the toilet. Wi-Fi that works with light reflections? Would you want more reflective surfaces to enable Wi-Fi in more areas of your house? Thing is, no surface is 100% reflective. The extra reflective surfaces just distort and weaken the signal to the point where you can't use the internet at all. And light from external sources also interfere with the signal so it's ultimately not very good technology. Zoom. Fun fact, the Zoom lasted longer than the Confederacy. Yet, oddly, nobody built a statue honoring the Zoom. So, America is racist. 400 million in funding that evaporated gives it to Theranos. Honestly an impressive scam. The Segway human transporter is a legendary version of this. Which is kind of ironic because I'm seeing an explosion of small electric transports in my area now. Airbikes and scooters etc are blowing up. It's exactly what Segway envisioned just 20 years later. Honestly, I think part of the reason it failed is because you look like a complete wanker on one. The scooters that became big in the last few years are much smaller and easier to use. Segway concept basically split into electric scooters one one side and hoverboards one wheels on the other. And both classes ended up massively superior to the Segway. Talia. It was supposed to be this site that, if I remember correctly, would enable you to just have a resume and you could quickly apply to a job and submit a cover letter. Guess HR people got tired of all the resumes that were junk. We have LinkedIn and indeed instant apply. 
but really, I just wanted a central place to upload my resume to apply for jobs. Really would be great if there was just one format to have a resume in. I do think in the future we'll look back and say remember those shitty job applications where you had to enter all of your past job experience manually at least I hope. You mean Talia where I have to register for each different employer's subdomain and then try to keep track of which password goes with which employer? NFTs. NFTs were actually highly successful, as long as you were the original seller. Everyone who bought one, you're an idiot. That's just because you don't understand the value of apes and slurp juice. S for those who don't get the reference. HTTPS colon slash slash mashable com article multiple slurp juices single ape memes. World War 1. It was supposed to be the war to end all wars. Imagine going back in time and telling people about the future. Someone asks you which side will win the great war, and your response might be the great war? Oh yeah, in the future this is just the first one. There's an even greater and worse war coming soon. World War 1, judging by the uniform. Yes, yes, but, what do you mean? 1, https colon slash slash www youtube com watch v equals egg 4 mcdhisv the titanic in all fairness it did end up being the next best thing all of the sister ships based on the same design would go on to long careers and many design principles she started would become industry standard one ship failed but the olympic class ocean liner was amazingly progressive impressive and actually very safe it took hours to sink and had there been enough lifeboats, as well as few drills, they could have easily gotten everyone off safely. After the Titanic, the other ships in the line were upgraded with more lifeboats and they did very well in their lifetimes. Olympic managed to survive to being decommissioned and scrapped, and Britannic ended up hitting a mine in the First World War. In her case only 30 people died with over 1000 of the 1066 people on board escaping safely. Excuse me sir, but you cannot and must never again mention the Olympic without mentioning its best story. It, like the Britannic, was a troop carrier in World War 1. But its main point of note is that it is the only merchant ship of World War 1, and to my knowledge the only one including World War 2, to sink a submarine by itself, which it did by ramming other ships did ram submarines. But warships were still needed to finish the U-boats off. Also there are some instances of warships ramming and sinking subs. But RMS Olympic is the only merchant ship to solo a submarine via ramming. Not bad for a massive ducking cruise liner. I. E. A prime target for a submarine. Google plus 200 million users. Backed by Google. Huge amount of publicity and several billion dollars to go poof at it. Shit. Scrolled right past this already posted. I can proudly say that I was one of the rare few who joined on day one and didn't leave till they shut it down. Minidiscs. Laserdisc. An early prototype of the VCD and DVD. If not for it those better technologies might not have come about so easily. The first generation of a new tech is always expensive. Janky and jimmicky but it's the rich a-holes who buy into it that pays for the bugs to be worked out for the rest of us. Like those early cell phones that looked like a brick. Fun fact. The video on Laserdisc is analog not digital like on VCD and DVD. The U2 album automatically downloaded to your phone. Christ, I've lived through so many it's starting to become hard to count. 3D TVS were definitely a big one. Countless articles and an unbelievable push to get those duckers into homes and theaters. Turns out people don't want to put on eye strain glasses after a long day at work. Foldable phones already caught the excitement of absolutely no one. But apparently there's another push for them as I get an ad for them every minute. I can see foldable phones becoming a thing again as costs go down and screen reliability goes up. There is a reason why OG flip phones became popular. The XFL. Twice. The Rock now owns it and is starting it back up again. Dippin' Dots were supposed to be the ice cream of the future. I mean, it's still bought at water parks and shit. I love Dippin' Dots. Dippin' Dots sold their technology to Beyond Meat and it's now a critical technology in their ground beef product. Oh Lestra, if you were old enough in the 90s, you remember everyone shitting their pants over it. 
literally, may cause anal leakage isn't a warning one wants on a can of Pringles. The term fetch. Stop trying to make fetch happen, it's not going to happen. 2012 apocalypse. Did Connie ever win the election? Meta, lol, whoever thought that rebranding would would be a good thing was an idiot. Nah, that was an act of evil genius. Facebook changed its name to Meta for the same reason the Philip Morris Tobacco Company changed its name to Altria. Flying cars. Preach. Who in a right mind thinks that idiots who don't know how to park on one parking space can actually understand and execute the rules of aviation? I'm a GA pilot and would literally never fly again if this took off pun intended. Single stage to orbit spacecraft. This one might take a bit of explaining. You'll obviously be familiar with the space shuttle, which was retired in 2011 with no immediate replacement. But the thing is, even back in the 1990s, NASA was already looking at what the space shuttle's successor would be. And one idea they really fixed on was that, whatever this replacement would be, it would have to be a single stage rocket. See, the space shuttle itself was reusable, but it relied on disposable outboard rockets to reach space, and those had to be replaced after every flight. So, the logic went, if a spacecraft could launch and reach orbit all in one piece, without dumping its rocket boosters every time, then it would be cheaper and more efficient. NASA decided to build something called the X-33, which was this funny looking triangle shaped spacecraft that could fly up to space and back using just its own engines. It didn't need any rocket boosters the way the shuttle did, so for a while in the 1990s, it looked like single stage spacecraft were the way of the future, but as they say, reality bites. It turned out that the X-33's special engines made it too heavy to fly, let alone reach space. And it was cancelled in 2001 before the prototype was finished. After that, NASA kind of fell out of love with the whole single stage to orbit concept. And to this day they've never built one. Fire Festival. Google Stadia streaming games. In general. TBF I used Nvidia's game streaming service for a few months. I had a shit PC at the time but a decent, stable, internet connection. I was able to play Red Dead Redemption 2 on my dinosaur of a PC without having to shill out thousands of dollars for an upgrade. Honestly a great service especially in a market where PC parts cost an arm and a leg. Divx. DIVX was a rental format variation on the DVD player in which a customer would buy a DIVX disc, similar to a DVD, for approximately 4 US dollars. 50, which was watchable for up to 48 hours from its initial viewing. After this period, the disc could be viewed by paying a continuation fee to play it for two more days. Viewers who wanted to watch a disc an unlimited number of times could convert the disc to a DIVX silver disc for an additional fee. It lasted for about a year back in the late 1990s before dying, even with the backing of major studios who wanted a piece of the video rental market. Edit. Thanks to those who pointed out the error in my reference to DIVX, the unsuccessful rental company, versus DIVX, the compression codec. Our. Apparently all the stocks I bought in early 2022. Fidget spinners were big in 2017. I can't find one now and I don't know what else to do with my hands. Come by my gas station and you will be ducking elated. The U. S. Going metric, we were taught as kids that we'd be thinking in kg and meters by the time we were adults. Alexandra Daigle. Sega Dreamcast. That thing was great. I loved the Sonic game for it and Jet Grind Radio. I'm convinced the Dreamcast was before its time. It actually had some really cool capabilities and titles for the time. I wish I never got rid of mine. I'd love to play it again. Michael Jackson's This Is It Tour. This was supposed to be the man's big comeback. I remember burning my tickets and now I'm kicking myself for it. It wasn't a comeback. The tour was called This Is It because it was going to be his last one ever. This is it. When I say this is it, it really means this is it. This will be the final curtain call. HTTPS colon slash slash EN M Wikipedia or Wiki This Is It Concert Residency M Night Shyamalan was once called the next Spielberg. What a twist. The Homer was supposed to be the next great American automobile. Its horn even played La Cucaracha. 
Every one of Elon Musk's big ideas that weren't bought from someone else. The resurrection of the DCEU. Now we'll get a reset. Betamax. Crypto. Whoa, you made it to the end, you're a ducking beast, I'll cut you a deal, smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh, it's free and that's a great price.